Sergeant Keen I here reporting for duty and last we left off we had the most difficult arena battle of our life but we now have two Dragon Balls available to us and Vegeta and Goku are still fighting to this very day to this very singular day alright let's go and check down here see what we got going on this is a rather long path hmm punks huh a bunch of punks up in here? I don't appreciate a punks at all. Uh, well, there is a lot of these guys. I guess uh, we just start attacking them. No, they don't have a lot of defenses, it seems. Punk is not dead. Holy crap! Whoa, you just wrecked Francis so hard. Oh, I need to switch them back. Well. Well, guys. Um, you, you need to calm down, you need to calm down, I need to revive Francis. Alright, you're being, you're being very rude. You're being very, very rude. And I'm gonna take you out. Goodbye, see you later. And, uh, you're gone as well, or you're very close to being gone. You will be gone with this attack. These guys really like their punk, I have to say. They're very enthusiastic. Um, uh, we're gonna attack you. This guy gets to go. Mm, I don't know who I want to heal, so I'm just gonna do a healing song. I need to move them back, though. That's something I desperately need to do. Devastating blows onto you. See you later. One of them's gonna... Oh, no. That was the one that was gonna go, but he died, so haha. -ha. Now there's only two of you left. Um, I guess, uh, Dark Edios would not be too bad. Nice. Nice. It hit one dude twice and one of them crit. I like that. That was pretty good. And this should be able to take him out. Alright. You guys weren't even that big of a problem. God. What weaklings. Now, we definitely need to give MP to our guys, though. Our MP is kind of low. For everyone included. There we go. Alright. Something's got to be going on down here. There's just not going to be nothing down here. I don't think so. Oh, there's something down there. But we missed it. And go around, and there's like a crumpled castle down here. Hmm. Oh, car? Is that a car wasted down there? I guess. Hmm, I want to go all the way this way first, and then go up. Huh. Oh, what's it? Oh, it's what's his face, isn't it? It is, isn't it? You again! I have been waiting for you. How did you know we didn't would have ended up here? Ah, that's easy. Last time we met, I told you not to come here. Oh, this is that one place that we destroyed. Oh yeah, I forgot. Last time I underestimated you, but I won't make that mistake twice. Now, I'll start using 85% of my power. I should have healed Johnny. Ah, I didn't move them for their position. Shit. Well, it should be fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. But I really should have moved their position. Um, heal wounds on Johnny. Get him all the way up. And then a uh, devastating blow, of course, because it's so good. Oh, he fucking dodged. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah, Dark Edios doesn't do any damage to them because he's a Dark Edios follower. I forgot about that. Um... I guess Toxic Strike would be pretty good. If I can get him poisoned, that is. Definitely heal yourself. Need to move you guys position really bad, though. Alright, you better not dodge this time, buddy. There you go. And, uh, Missile probably would be the best. Magic Missile. This guy doesn't seem so tough. He don't seem so tough at all. Um, definitely Chop Throat, I think. Lower your SP would be good. Mm, definitely heal yourself. Should get rid of your bleeding, I believe, as well. No? Ah, okay, it does. Good. Devastating blows again, bro. You're not even that strong. You're not even that strong. Um, let's see here. Arms asunder can lower your strength. Which your strength is already lowered for some reason. I suppose. Hmm, we could freeze you, which would put a negative effect on you. Should be good. It would lower your strength. And I didn't do any damage to you. Okay. Oh, because he uses magic. Alright, I understand now. Um. 
We gotta we gotta lower his SP really bad. He's doing too much uh, magic damage. It's becoming a problem. Devastating blows once again. We'll probably use a turn to heal people's MP back up or use items. Not really yet. It doesn't heal their MP, but their their items, their their MP. Or well, you know what I'm trying to say, you man. I'm trying to use the items to get their MP up. Um, a chop throw to sneak attack. Uh, does he have his SP lowered already? I guess then uh, we'll do arms asunder. And then I guess we'll go for a healing song. Yeah, I think that would be decent. Cause they were all, all three of them were kind of low, so it's not half bad. Devastating blow once again. You're under half health, so you don't have much longer to go. That's for sure. Just a normal attack. I probably should have used his turn to give himself MP. That would have been the better decision. Would have been much better. There you go, buddy. Um, you know, I'm gonna use your turn to uh, give Mike MP. No, does Mike really need MP? You know, I'm gonna use your turn to heal Mike actually, so he doesn't have to heal himself, and he could use his uh his healing more effectively on someone else. There we go. Devastating blows. This dude only got a couple more turns left on him. There's no way he's gonna be able to survive. Um, Ice Blast, and how about Lightning Orb? That might affect him. It's not dark. Oh my god, none of the magic affects him unless it's Magic Missile. That's annoying. I'm actually gonna use Item and heal him. Does, does Mike have two bleeding effects on him? Yeah, he definitely needs to heal himself then. Because that could get real nasty real fast, probably. Can't touch you, huh? Well, that's that's annoying. Yeah. I think it only lasts... Well, no, he just has a lot of defense bonuses now. That's super annoying, I have to say. Is he just going to dodge everything? Let's use Magic Missile. It's the only thing that works on him right now. Okay, good. Mike really needs some debuff stuff. He needs to learn some of that. I believe I have some of it bought, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I ran out of money and never bought it. It's a possibility. There we go. Actually doing some damage. Now please don't dodge. Damn, that only does half damage now. Damn, that that really sucks. This dude is really buffed up right now. Just keep trying to poison him, I guess, would be the best uh, plan of action. He's, you know, we're whittling him down slowly but surely. That's, uh, that's a fact. I'm gonna Molotov cocktail you. Does that do, it did okay damage, I suppose. It's close. We're getting really close here. He just keeps uh, using defensive moves, so that's really good for us. Because that means eventually he'll go down. 32 damage. It's fine, it's fine. We're not gonna die yet. Maybe, like, three more attacks will do it? This could do it. I think this will be the final blow. Nice. Almost everyone leveled up but Nigel. Do two points into there, and uh, a point into resistance. And then how about uh, two points into here, and a point into speed. Two points here, one point in grit. Seems like a good idea. Alright. Not bad. Damn, I lost again! This goes against my handsomeness! You should have used 100% of your power in the beginning! We don't play around, fool! I'm no fool, because with the remaining 15% I'll escape again. He just went inside. Let's go after him. <laughs> okay, buddy, you sure ran away quite fast. Oh, we healed all the way to maximum? Sweet, other than our mana. Well, this guy is not very smart, I don't think. Um, I want to go collect, uh, check these doors first for items. Um, there might be stuff in here. No, there isn't? What about right here? Hmm. Well, this place is awfully destroyed. I hope we don't get attacked anywhere. It doesn't seem like we're gonna, which I'm happy about. What about this? It looks like there's no power. Hmm. How would we, how would we solve that? 
Is there anywhere we can activate the power? Is there like a the generator outside or is there something else of the nature that we can use? I'm not quite sure. Or is there something I'm... Wait, there's a crack right here. Hmm. Damn. What do we do? This has to be here for a reason. This has to be here for a reason. Otherwise, I'm very confused on what we need to do. I'm clicking everything, and it doesn't seem like there's anything going on around here. Hmm. Are these boxes here for a reason? You gotta click on everything, man. There's gotta be something I'm missing. I know there is. There's these cracks in the walls, there's computers and televisions and a whole bunch of other stuff. Hmm. I guess not. I don't know. Maybe I have to go outside and find the generator? It looks like there's no power. It looks like there's no power. Hmm. This guy totally freaking bamboozled me. He actually got away. Oh wait, there's a hole right there. I have no idea. I don't know. I straight up don't know. There's nothing over there. Doesn't look like there's anything over- Oh, there's something over here though. That looks like a generator. That definitely looks like a generator. Alright, so we gotta go turn that on probably. It probably wanted us to go up here first. Let's be 100% honest. This definitely looks like an area that has to do with generation abilities. Yep. Flip of the switch. There we go. Now the place should have power. Alright. How did he get up there without any power? That cheating fool. He is totally a cheater. He should not have been able to get up here. Unless there was like, you know, maybe stairs. I, you know, magical stairs that he has and I don't. You know what, I kind of want to go check that computer room again. Because now it has power. Just to see if there's anything in here. I don't feel like this would be here for no reason. But maybe, you know, maybe it was. Maybe it is here for no reason. Yeah, I guess it's just there for looks. I bet I'm missing a secret. I bet, I bet I am, man. I bet I am. All right, let's go use the elevator. It's an elevator. Yes, well, click the button, please. All right. Oh, it went underground. I thought it was gonna go higher up. Hmm, can't go over there. More computer stuff. Welcome to Light Adios Lab. Here, teams of experts in the field of science are working to improve the welfare of every creature on this world. To reach our goal, we do not use magic as many spellcasters of you have thought, but technology. Technology is our new friend. Hmm. Technology is our new friend. It can create electricity that can light up your room or an entire city, power your television and yet to be invented, or electrocute your enemies. Interesting. Technology is our friend. It can help us get better understanding to our of life, to have better harvests, to create medicines, and to improve your sexual life. Interesting. All right. Technology is our friend. It can help us build machines that a world that would ease our work, let us move faster with and with style, or even create weapons capable of annihilating your enemies. There's a lot of stuff about annihilating enemies. Locked by a lap key. There's a lot of annihilating enemies and, and fixing, fixing people with erectile dysfunction. Oh, this is where we were summoned, no? Or is, oh, this is where they try to summon that one girl and then she blew everything up, right? In the very beginning of the game? What is this place? It looks familiar. It should look like a trap. I knew it. Why haven't you told us? How typical of you. Dude, you again? Do we- do you ever give up? We already beaten you twice. Ready for the third round? <laughs> maybe you should consider the idea of giving up. You're surrounded. Nice surrounding. You're alone. Oh crap. Heroes are so predictable. I just had to tell you to come here without questioning and you did it. Amazing! I was just exploring. I didn't even know this is the area I was supposed to go. The whole story about me only using a percentage of my power and me running away is all to tease you to lure you here. I bet you could- I bet you thought you were dealing with a rookie, a fighter without experience, a level 1 opponent. Instead, you were for the fools. No way! And you want to hear the best part? No. I'll tell you what anyway, despite what I said about the Magister, this has all been his, his plan. Am I right, Magister? 
Oh. Yes. My amazing plan. And now, heroes, you should surrender. But knowing how dull you're all... Dull? Dull? You are? You prefer to die than give yourself up, am I right? You bet your ass! Well, wait. Maybe we can work out a solution. Really? What do you... What would you offer? Do you have something to offer? I have candy. What flavor? Strong mint? No, thank you. Can you have at least some decency to show your face? Sounds like a reasonable last wish. Benjamin? Oh my god. Guys? Our Game Master! What are you doing here? Our Game Master! I oh, <laughs> Our Game Master! I knew this too! I was saying the same voice for everyone. So now you are the one predicting the future? Magister, you know these heroes? Heroes? Them? Oh, come on. At best, they're morons. He's right! But how... But how is this possible? Well, I can't... I can just tell them what happened to me. I was preparing setting a new campaign for D&D. Yes, I was, it was D&D. When suddenly in my basement went apeshit, lights started flickering and walls disappearing and swoosh. Swoosh! Without knowing what was going on, I ended up in this world, in a lab of the scientist known as Unnamed. He was weird, a mix of a goth and emo, but a good guy. He told me about his plan to bring technology to this world and how every time he tried to, the Emperor Destiny always stopped him, so I decided to help him with my vast knowledge of video games and movies. And that's what happened to me. Same for us, but we ended in the castle with a dude with a crowd told us to do this and that, and we did it, and then he told us we suck, so he sent us to get some magic items, and we did it, and then something else happened, and we're here. That's life, man. What? Long story short, we ended on the other side, the Destiny side. What now, Magister? Should we kill them? What? I don't know. No killing. I guess the best part, best thing to do is go back to Unnamed's palace. As you command. Awesome, I can't wait to meet this dude. Damn it, I bet I'm not gonna be able to get to freaking Dragon Balls now. I'll be waiting for you outside of my flying ship whenever you're ready. Just come to me and we'll fly to Unnamed's place. Aha! That's so awesome, we finally have a flying ship! We can fly around the world? Of course you can't. Oh no, why? First of all, it's not your ship. Second, none of you know how to drive it. Third, because I say so. Now move your asses. Well, how rude. I will come back to that ship at a later time because we want to find the other Dragon Ball. So anyways, I think that's going to be the end for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. It's very much appreciated and helps out the series quite a lot. And I'll see you guys next time with any more Doom and Destiny to come.